The real world classroom model really grew out of my own experience. Um, how did I learn? Well, just like everybody else, doing it. The client finds out about us in a number of ways, and they have this idea, oh, I have a problem that needs to be solved. So they come to us, I vet them, we talk about their project, they meet with the students. I was so impressed by the students from the moment I walked through the door and they all stood up. Oh my God, like this is real, this is real. They're taking this very seriously. So then I was like, if they're gonna treat me professionally, then I'm gonna honor that and I'm going to bring my A game too. I got to work with Megan Sperry for the uh, Rosendale Farmers Market, creating logos and a trailer wrap. Very hard to do. We are in the Hudson Valley. We're surrounded by farmer's markets. So the main challenge was how do we stand out? The students were very receptive. And then I came back a week or two later and we eliminated some designs. We tweaked some designs. And then finally, when I showed the board, the final six, they were like, oh my God, this was like above and beyond. What starts to happen is they develop a designer client relationship. And the student's job is research, they have to know that client's problem better than they do. I had a logo created for my firm, a logo that I absolutely love. It's, it's clean, it's crisp. I get the word classy <laughs> all the time. The, the applied learning component of the program is primarily the reason why I decided to apply. You know, knowing that I can say, you know, I had you know, a year of professional experience, I have these other client experiences, I feel a lot more positive going forward. What's happening the entire time, what's really behind the scenes, is the accruing of certain life skills. Observation, listening, collaboration, critical thinking, leadership, and valuing critique. They were competent, more than competent. <laughs> Every student is talented and amazing. We worked well together over about three weeks to streamline the designs. Guess what you have on your resume that may not appear on others? Practical experience, but more importantly, professional experience. Got a Bachelor of Fine Arts, found it very difficult to find work. So decided that the design program here was worth pursuing. Through the rural classroom, I worked on a variety of design projects from brochures, logos, to concepts for packaging. You need a resume and you need a portfolio. That's what's going to get you the job and that's what's going to get you to transfer. I got the opportunity to have an internship. The two people that had interviewed me said to me that out of all the interviewees that they had that day, from four-year colleges, schools that were Ivy League, I was their favorite pick. So I, I landed that job day one and I knew it. It was great. It was a good day. <laughs> SUNY Ulster has so much going on with applied learning. We have clinical placement, we have travel abroad, we have very active student government and clubs, we are collaborating internationally, we're doing so much. I would recommend this program very highly to everybody. Everyone wins, the business benefits dramatically. We've saved some money, but at the same time, we've helped encourage young people who want to get into this field. To, to do great work. As a, you know, somebody that's involved with community organizations, it's a dream come true. The SUNY system is a tremendous resource and it's right here in our backyard. I think a program like this should be everywhere across the board, in every school, throughout the country.